Hey guys, welcome to Liar Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to set up multiple Tailwind configurations file in a single project. There can be situations where you need a separate Tailwind configuration file for your admin dashboard and separate configuration for your front end. Similar thing happened to me in this e-commerce project that I have been building. So I'll be showing how to do that. It took almost one and a half or two hour for me to find it out, but I'll show you that under five minutes. So let's get started. This is the backend code and this is the front end code. And obviously here we are in the Laravel project and I am using Vite. And as in every Laravel project, we have this tailwind.config.js in the root of our project. And you can see here a lot of configurations and these configurations are for admin dashboard. And if I just show you over here inside this resources, JS and here is this app.js and if I just show you that over here, here in the CSS, we have this app.css, this tailwind based components utilities. Everything is set up for admin and we haven't done anything on the front end. But here in the front end, we have index. So whenever we visit this e-commerce.test, then we will see this thing. Now for this to work, I found out in this discussion over here in this tailwind CSS discussion. And here I found out this answer post CSS multiple tailwind and here, if we go here in that project, then we can see here how to do it. For this, we need to install this package post CSS. So first of all, let us just do that. npm install post CSS multiple tailwinds dash D as a development. We have successfully installed it. Now, if you see here, we need to change something in our post CSS.config.js. So in the root of our project, we need to go here in the post CSS.config.js we have here tailwind css and auto prefixer we need this but we need to change this tailwind css to this post css multiple tailwind but if we just replace this with like this then it will give us some kind of error so for this we need to do it like this so after this now let us move our this tailwind config.js let me cut it from here and let me paste it wherever we have added this app.css the root okay so here inside this admin i'll just paste it over here and now here i'll just go over here and i'll just copy this thing from here and inside this app.css i'll just paste the code over here and we'll add it like this now everything should work perfectly fine for the admin so here i'll run npm run dev and hit enter after this if i go here in the admin dashboard then everything should work perfectly fine you can see here i am refreshing and everything is working perfectly fine the designs are good but if we go here in the home page of our front end then nothing has changed because we haven't done anything but if i show you that here index blade we have this busy read and it is not showing here so now let us create a separate config for our front end and use it now here inside this css folder let us create front folder and inside here i'll say app.css and all the codes from here will copy everything from here this is the base tailwind css and this tailwind css config file let me just copy it and paste it over here and instead of this views slash like this we'll say front slash like this only from the front end code we will take it and let me just comment everything from here just to show you because we might need this because it is coming from inside the resources views of our pagination so here we will remove all these things from here and this also we know we don't need these kind of plugins okay these are for the admin dashboard only so for the font family we may use this nunito font let us keep it so here we only have this front so resources views front if i show you here resources inside the resources we have this views front and anything that ends with dot blade dot php we are looking at it and this is inside this front and at the same place these two files need to be on the same folder okay after this now let us again run this okay npm run dev like this but if i come here and refresh then again it is not working because we haven't added bit in our this index here we need to add something so let me show you that here in the admin section so we need to write this like this bit resources js admin js but we'll write here resources js front slash admin js so let me write that 
here and let us create this app.js let me go over here in the resources js front resources js and let me create here front slash app dot js like this and here we'll import that css this css if i just go here inside the admin and inside the app js then we can just copy this thing from here and paste it over here and instead of admin i'll write front and if i command and click it will take me to this section so we have successfully imported the front css over here and before that let me show you over here all this source code of this admin section and if i just show you this css and i'll just search for empty dash then you can see here a lot of margin top code that are coming from our backend code so let me just remove this and here now again let me run npm run dev so this is a shortcut for npm run dev for me so after this now let me refresh then we are seeing this unable to locate white manifest resources js front app so we need to do one more thing sorry for this guys so here in the with config js we need to write here the input because we haven't specified here the input front like this and this thing will be outputted to the built directory which will be utilized by the at the rate bit if you see here this at the rate bit directive so now let me one more time now run this npm run dev and let me come here and refresh then you can see here the red color is shown over here and if i just show you the source code over here then if i just search for empty dash then you can see here there is only one this empty 8 because i have used here empty 8 all the code from the admin dashboard are not here so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you like this video then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye